interest rate. They got crosswise with the EU. France wanted them to raise the corporate tax rate as a quid pro quo for ballot. They said no. They wouldn't do it. So what's happened is they really are fixing the economy, unlike the, what I call the Club Med countries who are not reforming anything. So Ireland is making it work, and that's an important thing. And despite it, they had 2% growth in the most recent quarter. So the notion you can't cut back government spending without destroying the economy is simply wrong, at least in their case. I mean, talk about some of the numbers for the size of this bank. I mean, it's in assets, it's, it's the size of, like, Bank of New York Mellon. That's right? correct. It's just about the same size, $140 billion. $140 so, billion. No. That's, that's dollars, right? Yeah. Yes. So, so what, what's the political dynamic of now owning this bank in Ireland? And, well, we'll and, find out pretty soon. But, 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 to, but I assume through the process of buying it, you had to spend a lot of time with the regulators. Sure, we did. Well, we had spent time a year ago. Remember, we tried to do the Educational mm -hmm. Bank for Savings. And so we're pretty familiar with the situation there. And what Ireland did, they set up an entity called NAMA that took the bad loans out of the banks and not at par at 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents on the dollar. Then they put the capital back in, in a proper way, in the form of equity. So what's going to happen now is the government will have roughly a 20% stake. The investor group will have around a 35% stake. And then the public, mostly uh, institutions as well, will have the rest. So how long are you going to be in business with the government for? Well, what's, the, what's, I don't know how long the government will want to stay in. We're happy to have them saying they will have two seats out of ten on the board. They, of course, will also be the regulator uh, for the bank. But it's also interesting in that regard. It's not just the biggest bank in Ireland. It also has a huge joint venture with the post office system in the U.K. 11,500 post offices distribute the bank's products in the U.K. And it has a bank in Connecticut. How anxious were you getting involved with the government, though? We've seen what's happened in the U.S. Um, the idea of having the government as your shareholder is an interesting situation. Well, I think it's a Say big the difference having government as the sponsor and as the principal party, sort of the Fannie Mae, right. Freddie Mac situation. I think that's different from us bailing out the government. And I think the whole relationship pattern will be a very different one. The government desperately wants all these banks reprivatized as quickly as they can. Uh, Bank of Ireland is easily the healthiest of the banks, so they were right to have that be the first one. But they also got a big vote of confidence last weekend with the EU and the IMF giving them the same kind of terms on their debt restructuring as Greece. Country of Ireland now has no sovereign debt funding needs through 2013. I wish our country were in as good shape. Wilbur, you, yeah, you mentioned that there was a change in government. Yes. So clearly the, the government that embraced what had to be done, it wasn't popular. No, it wasn't, and they knew it wouldn't be, and they knew that they ran the great risk of losing the election, but they did what they felt was right for Ireland. For Ireland. Okay. This is exactly the point we were talking about earlier. This is why it will only work in America with term limits because as long as people have hope of getting reelected again, but you and I talked about this before, yeah, right. it's when you get leadership that says, it's not what's right for me, it's what's right for the country, that will do the right things right. in America. And what's interesting, when the new party came in, it didn't reverse the policies. Right. It accepted them, and mm -hmm. it now is implementing mm -hmm. the privatization, even though this is notionally much more liberal a government than the last right. government. But they are embracing the concept of private capital coming in, and uh, I think it will facilitate the rehabilitation of the whole country. Mm -hmm. You can't have banks that are the wards of the state and, and get the economy to grow again. Exactly. Why don't we, you're here next week, aren't you? Yes. <coughs> well, I'm co-hosting on the second, is it? I think it's second or the third. Oh, August 2nd.